guys, we are live. You are behind the scenes because we're about to do a holiday hero video. You guys have people that you're interested in getting gifts for, but you just don't know what to give them. In this video, we're going to show you step by step how to make a cheese board epoxied out. We're going to show you how to make a custom serving tray. We're going to show you how to make coasters from 17 cent tiles. This is going to be a fun video. We're going to teach you everything right now, step by step, and we're going to film this video for a company called Home Talk. They're the world's largest DIY community for home and garden. They invite us on their Facebook channel where they have 8 million followers. So this video is being recorded for them. We thought we'd bring you behind the scenes. So let us know, do you like content like this? And as it goes on, any chatter that's happening, we'll do our best to answer that. But we're filming this for Home Talk. So welcome and go check out Home Talk on Facebook. They're a great community teaching you how to DIY your way to epoxy perfection. All right, you guys ready? Stay tuned. Enjoy the video. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. What's up, Home Talk? Mike here with StoneCoatCountertops.com, and we have a real good surprise for you to become a holiday hero. Are you ready for this video? What we're going to do is teach you how to up level a cheese board, how to make a custom serving tray, how to take 17 cent white tile and turn it into custom coasters. This is a fun video. We're all set. Let's get started. Let's dive into it. And I just want to welcome you to Home Talk. They're the world's largest DIY community in the home and garden world. And we are pleasured and proud to be on this channel. This is a fun environment. Guys, let your con let your uh, let your questions flow. Why? Because we're in the comments right now and we're going to answer those for you. We're going to have a blast. Let's go. So what are we using in this video? We're using our product called Craft Coat. Craft Coat is one of our beloved epoxy products because it's inexpensive to get started. This is about 30% cheaper than our standard products so that you can try these craft style projects on a budget. We also have our additives already mixed in. We're going to use our purple Aluma dust. This is a beautiful color. It's a metallic. We're using our white metallic from Stone Coat Countertops. We're using our diamond dust and we're also going to use some Alumalite dyes. This is the ocean blue and then this is the white. What are we going to do here? We're going to really have some fun. I'm going to take this bamboo uh, serving tray and I'm going to really up level it. It's going to be it's going to be nothing but ordinary when I'm done. And I went to Home Depot and I bought a couple of handles. These are just normal drawer pulls, those kind of things. And I think I'm going to install those right there on that serving tray so that it is a real custom gift. I could even I could even put a decal on this, but I can up level this as I go. But I'm going to have fun with these colors. I chose these colors because they're winter colors. They're going with this season. So let's have some fun. I wanted to show you how potent this ocean blue is. So I just have two little drops and I haven't mixed it yet. So watch what happens when I mix it and watch how easy it is to mix. But this is a super concentrated blue, but look at how pretty that is. So that is exactly how we get those vibrant colors on our channel. Guys, have you been to StoneCoatCountertops.com? If you haven't, check it out and stay to the end of this video because we have a coupon code to save you money on your Holiday Hero gifts. Do you want to be the Holiday Hero? Go to Stone Coat Countertops and check out all the epoxy products seen in this video. We also want to know where are you tuning in from? Let us know your location and what videos are you most interested in? We've been on Home Talk checking out all those videos. Goodness gracious, the live of content is outstanding. I want to know what is your favorite video on Home Talk so that we can help you get more videos like that and answer any questions or comments that you have about this process today. A lot of our videos are chosen on those comments, so get typing and let's go. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is start with the serving tray. The serving tray is going to be a fun project. I'm going to, I'm going to put these little handles aside, put those right over here. And I think I'm going to just glue those in right to the epoxy. You could pre-drill them and have them set up, but I think I'm going to do this and then set them right there in the epoxy and we'll have a serving tray tomorrow as that, as that dries, those, those handles aren't coming out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my white. Okay. And I think I'm just going to bury a little bit of white right here. 
And then I'm gonna take some of this diamond dust. I'm gonna put that right next to it. Okay. And then I'm gonna take some of that blue. I'm just gonna follow that a little bit. And then I'm gonna take some of this white. And the different whites, I know I'm using the white metallic and the white dye, but they do two different things. The metallic's gonna give us shimmer, and the white dye is gonna give us an opaque color. Now I'm gonna come through with some of this purple. All right. Then I think I'm just gonna start using my hands. You guys ready for this? Let's do it. Wow, this is so satisfying, just seeing this thing come to life like this. This is really gonna up-level this standard serving tray. I think I got this at Ross for like $6. So you could take just a, a normal serving tray that you're gonna find at a typical retail store and really put your art into it and have a blast while you do that. What kind of art projects do you guys enjoy? Um, some of the things that I've been seeing there on Home Talk are just fantastic. Again, I want to know where you're, where you're watching from and, uh, and how long you've been watching Home Talk and what you're learning. All right, I think I'm just going to add a little bit more on top here. I'm going to go, I'm going to go diamond dust right there. And I'm going to put some of that blue right on top. Okay, now I'm going to heat this up and tilt it around. I'm just going to use my heat gun. I'm gonna heat that up. Now let's tilt this thing and see what happens. Oh, that's gonna be neat. Oh, heck yeah. Gosh, this is fun. I actually like it mixed in better, so I think I'm gonna just take my hands and just kind of mix that in a little bit. Now I'll heat it up a little bit more. All right, here we go. So when you heat it up, if you don't heat it all, you get different, different kinds of grain flow and things happening. And I really like that. So I only heated up the spots that I wanted to really move. And the more that you tilt it here, the more uh, the level of interest you're really gonna get. All I did in the beginning was just move that color with my hand a little bit. Boy, that's pretty. I might be done right there. I'm just gonna coat those edges with my hand again. And to prep this board, you just wanna sand with 220 grit and you're gonna have a really beautiful serving tray. So what I think I'm gonna do now is just take my gloves off so I can grab those handles and put those handles on. Let me know in the comments, do you guys like this before or after? Did the epoxy improve it or did you like the bamboo by itself? Other aspects that you could use this in, let me know. We've done art like this where it was pre-framed art and you simply do the inside and you already have pre-framed art that you cover an old painting that you may or may not like, okay? So let me go ahead and take these gloves off and set in my handles. I think I'm gonna just use that little line as my reference. Boom. Boom. Get these centered up a little better. All right, I love it. We got a serving tray in minutes, guys. That's how you become an expert crafter to tell your husband, look at what I just made. Can you believe it? And before long, you'll be doing the countertops. All right, let's go on this, on this cheese board. Now, I'm not gonna do this, this whole cheese board. I'm, I'm just gonna do a portion of this so that the rest of it stays organic looking, all right? What do you guys think? You think that's a good idea? All right, I'm gonna wipe my hands off, grab a new set of gloves, 
and get started. Guys, one of my favorite things about creating crafts is that you have plenty of uh, open working time with our product. So you, you get to really take your time, have fun, and pick out colors and just go to town. It's really amazing what I see every time I do this because no two pieces are alike. So you could do a bunch of these, it would have that same theme, but it really comes down to what you're looking for in your functional art. Okay, I really like this blue and white, and I think what I'm gonna do on this is just stick to those two colors. I'll go white, diamond dust, and the blue. Let's do that. So I'll start with the white metallic, and I think I'm just gonna go kinda out to here, and then I'm gonna go blue, and then I'll go some white diamond dust in that, and then I'm gonna go white again, and I'm gonna go blue, and some more diamond dust. Then I think I'm just gonna use my finger just to swirl this around a little bit. Oh, this is beautiful already. And I'm not gonna overwork it. I think I'm gonna use a little bit more of this coming over this edge. This is like, this is just therapeutic, man. <laughs> wow. A little more diamond dust coming over that. Just grab some of the junk that's dripping on my table and I could just make sure I coat those edges. Let's go ahead and put some over this side. Really coat those edges. Now I think I'm gonna take a little stick here, a little popsicle stick, and I'm just gonna get some of this blue into that white, just faint amounts. Ooh, I like that. That's how I can control it without going too far. Oh, that's pretty. Bring this one over here a little bit. And now we have a Holiday Hero cheese board. This is really, really cool. I like that. I like that. Guys, let me know. Do you like it? You know what? I'm going to put a little bit of blue right there. That's pretty. Wow. Now it needs a little more white. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Do you think it should come out a little bit further? I think maybe a little bit. All right, let's go a little further. Luke is behind the camera, guys. Give, give Luke a thumbs up, and if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, make sure you do that. Luke, you gotta show your, 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 hey your beauty, man. All right, here we go. Let's go a little bit more, a little bit more blue. I'm gonna take Luke's advice. See, one pro tip here, guys, is you can always go further out on the board, but you can't kind of pull it back once you've done that. A little bit more diamond dust right there. Now I think I'm gonna mix this a little bit right here. Just mix it with my stick. Now I'm just gonna tilt this forward just to let it, let it run where it wants to go. And I think we'll stop right there. That looks neat. I'm glad we added a little bit more. Is that what you like, Luke? Yeah, that's money. Hey guys, let me know. Did you like it before we added more or did you like it better when it was a little less? I kind of like it better like that. And I like the shape. I like that it just looks like you put this beautiful coating of winter on top of it. This is my winter cheese board right here. Okay, time for the tiles. I'm gonna move these tiles so we can get a shot over here. It's a little easier to do. Now these tiles I've already sanded with 220 grit sandpaper, but if you're gonna do this over tile countertops, be sure to use like a bonding primer for a really tenacious bond. You don't wanna go um, 
and do these on countertops and have anything not be a permanent bond. But our epoxy likes to stick. So just a mechanical bond with sandpaper is usually enough. All right, let me go ahead and this one I think I'm gonna add. Let's, let's try something fun here. Let's do this. Let's add some of that. Add some of that. I gotta be careful not dripping on my board there. Add some of that. Add some of that. All right, you ready? Let's pour this out. This is really, really satisfying, goodness. This is fun. I really enjoy working with resin artists. I, I work with a number of resin artists, Artists Till Death and Mixed Media Girl, and they teach all these really fun techniques and I like applying them to my own projects. Holy cow, this is gonna be neat. Let me add a little bit more resin in this. Let's go some of that white. We'll add some of that blue. And all I'm doing is just getting that stream of epoxy to come out and I'm just moving that cup in a circular motion. Okay, let's do that again. And I'm just coating these tiles until they're all coated. These will be really cool custom coasters for, I think I'm gonna give these to my wife. She'll like them. What other colors do you think would look good together? These are my choice of winter colors, but what winter colors can you think of? Let me know in those comments. Now I think I'll just kind of move through it a little bit here. That's cool. Wow. Wow. Now, what I'm going to do is heat gun those so I get a little bit of the air out. And then I'm just going to pull those apart. Goodness, this is fun. Let me heat gun those. So the reason we heat gun it is to pop any little air bubbles that are remaining and then you'll get a really glassed out finish. This is super simple to do. Don't be afraid to try this at home. That's really how you learn. And these are great sized projects. I used very little material and I got three projects done in, I don't know, how long we've been on? About 15 minutes. 15 minutes, that's pretty amazing. Guys, I'm gonna be in the comments right now. So start asking any questions you want. We're here to answer and we're here to help. We have a blast on Home Talk and these projects went pretty quick. I had so much fun. Let's pop those bubbles and pull these tiles apart. All right, here we go. Get one of these to move. That's cool. That'll be a matching set. Hey guys, one pro tip on this is after you let this sit, it's on plastic. So that means it'll peel up tomorrow without a problem. I could take a little razor blade and just cut that flush and a little bit of sandpaper and that'll make it a really nice line along that tile. I literally got those for 17 cents a piece, brand new at the hardware store. This serving, this, uh, this serving tray I got for about $6 and this was about $12. So if you're on a budget and it's time for the holidays and you wanna be a hero, that's how you do it. You simply go find what you can up level and make them custom to your friends and family. Now, I told you to wait to the end of the video. You did a good job. I got a gift for you and I wanna say an early Merry Christmas.
Christmas, okay? So this is for all, all those folks who want to be the hero of the holidays. This is our coupon goat. This is as supplies last. We've bulked up and we've got a lot in stock for the holidays, but we know it's going to go fast. Folks love our countertop epoxy, our craft coat. They love our casting resins for woodworking. Why? Because they test it, they try it, and they love it. It works. It shows exactly what we show in this video, and it performs. So that coupon code is HERO15. It's going to be all lowercase, and it's HERO15, and that's going to get you 15% off of not just the colors I use tonight, everything on our site. Guys, go check it out at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Ask all your questions right now in the comments below and let's get going. Guys, thank you so much for being here. This was a blast, and I'm just gonna do some flyover of these as we answer some of those questions, all right? Thanks again, and until next time, you got this! We'll see you on the next Home Talk video.